Hey YouTube, welcome to my channel. I wanted to do a quick nail video today. I was browsing on Amazon and I saw that they have semi-cured gel stickers and they have a bunch to choose from. And I found this brand right here and they have a bunch of different cute designs. This is the one that I chose. It's like a blue marble look. I'm gonna put the black behind it so you can see better, but it's like this blue marbled pattern with gold specks very trendy right now in my opinion and I do already have my nails done so I use the Amazon gel X dupe method using the Beatles kit I'll link it down below I've done a video on it before I think it is such a great kit the nail forms that come with it are really sturdy and really thick but this lamp is great because you just tap it and it, the light turns on. You don't have to like click anything and when you're trying to hold down a nail using the Gel-X method, it just makes for such easy application. But this time I used these tips here, which are like $3.99 for this whole box of these tips. They are thinner, as you can tell, but I actually don't mind. Sometimes I want more of like a natural, thinner nail. They can, they're not that thin where they will like snap and break. I mean, they can, but once you do like a base coat and a top coat, they do thicken up. But today I'm not gonna be doing that. I'm just gonna use these stickers here. It does come with like a little instruction pamphlet here. And it just says, smooth your nails, clean them with an alcohol pad. You know, make sure there's no oils on it or anything. Choose the right size, peel off the protective film, place on your fingers gently, and then use the wood stick that they provided here to apply pressure around the edges. Remove the excess using a nail file. Cure for 60 seconds, and that's it. So we will see how easy it is to use and how they look because I've never done anything like this. Are they gonna last? Like, are they gonna look funny? We will see. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some alcohol and clean my nails so to make sure I don't have any like oils around my nails. I did already like clean my cuticles before I actually did my nail tips. But this is what they look like now. I did buff them a little bit to give them a bit of a grip and a hold. So let me do that and then I'll get to doing the nails. I set up my camera on my chair here so you guys can see what I'm doing. Uh, I do have my UV lamp right here. I got off Amazon like a year or so ago. It's like $12, super affordable. But my nails are clean, like cleaned them with alcohol. And I think I'll do, probably do this one for this nail. So you just kind of go through and see which one is gonna fit where. And then obviously you can flip flop them if you wanted to. But let me just, I don't know, like I'm so new to this. I feel like you learn what works best with time. So we're just going to give this a go. Peel back the, uh, oh, I see what it is. Each sticker has its own protective layer. I didn't know that. I thought it was like one big film. So let me put that back on because I'm not using that one. I'm going to use this one here. They are very thick like thick jelly stickers and the design is beautiful in my opinion so let me just place that on as best as I can This is essentially what it looks like. I do have pointed nails, so I'm gonna go ahead and file off the excess. I think that I think I did a pretty decent job um, there is a bit of a gap here on the side 
nothing too crazy. I didn't want it too close to my cuticle coal because I am going to be doing a top coat as well. Even though it's not necessary, I just want like more strength to my nail because you can tell that these are fairly thin, but the design is beautiful and I think it actually looks really good. So let me go ahead and cure that for 60 seconds. This lamp does have like 30, 60, 90 second intervals. So let me just do 60 seconds. All right, and that's that. I'm sure it would probably lift if you like picked at it and things like that. So I am going to add a top coat. I don't know. I just feel like to secure it, I'll just feel so much better having a top coat on it, even though it says you don't need one. But the design is really pretty. So I'm going to add a top coat on and then do the rest of these nails and then show you guys the finished result. Okay, so I just finished both hands. It did take about an hour, mainly because I also did like two layers of top coat and then I also placed some top coat underneath to kind of like thicken it up. But here is the full finished look. I do think this is a very pretty design. I actually really love it. They do have a bunch of different ones to choose from. I think this one was like $14 or so. They range from 13 to 14, depending on which one that you choose, but super pretty in my opinion. I'm wondering how they're gonna hold up. There is one thing that I will say that I think I accidentally um, had these stickers too close to the lamp when I was curing some of the nails. So some of them did harden and you can kind of probably see it on this one at the base here. It almost like it's not like super, super flush. Hopefully that doesn't cause it to lift too soon, especially since I did two top coats two layers of top coat, but we will see. Another thing is that I wish they had, like they included two strips of this for the price. It's not bad for $15, you could just buy two packs, but then you are paying $30. Because you can see like right here, my nail is not covered on some of them. So I do wish they had more options and sizes to choose from because they don't have too many like wider ones for these fingers. Otherwise, I really like it. I'm interested to see how it's gonna hold up. I'll probably leave, if I upload this video tomorrow, then I'll just leave in the description box how long they lasted and things like that. Hey guys, so it's actually the next day. One of the nails did come off. It didn't come off, it was kind of lifting. So I ended up peeling it off, kind of like this one here. So these three right here are the ones that I had an issue with. I don't know if it's because I had these too close to the lamp when I was curing it. So some of them kind of, I could tell they were like a little bit stiffer and harder. They weren't as flexible. So around the cuticles and stuff, they weren't as flush. So I bought two more packs, two different designs to see and try it again and just keep trying. I did try to put the snail form back on because I did keep it. I have it right here actually. I did try to put it back on using like the gel -X dupe method with some base coat, but it's almost near to impossible. You probably could super glue it if you wanted to, but because this is basically you're applying the exact same size, sometimes it doesn't align and the tip is lifted or the edges are a little bit lifted. It's just not a perfect fit. So I'm gonna go ahead and redo this nail and possibly this one. But otherwise the rest of them are holding on well. So if you guys have any tips, if you've done this before, let me know because I do think they are really pretty. They're like a nice thick gel sticker. And yeah, that's kind of like my final review. So I'll link them down below. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in future videos. Bye.